Hello 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 everyone. In this video we are going to see how we can update the applications on an Amazon Fire TV stick. The first thing I want to comment before starting with the video is that normally and as a general rule, a Fire TV stick will update all applications automatically. This means that even if you do not notice or do not see any notification at all, in the background, whenever an application has a new version, the Fire TV stick will automatically update it. Although, well, I have found in some cases that the Fire TV, I do not know the reason obviously, does not update applications automatically, either because the device is not working properly or because, for example, you have automatic updates disabled. Anyway, having said this and so that you know that, normally, the Fire TV will update the applications by itself, let's see how we can quickly access to at least check if there is any update of any application and the Fire TV, for some reason, has not done it. To do this, being in the main menu of the Fire TV stick, let's go to the section My Applications, which you have it here on the right side, right next to the settings wheel. This you are seeing with three squares and a plus. Once you enter the section My Applications, you will see all the applications that you have installed on your Fire TV stick. To find out if any application has or does not have an update pending, you simply have to get on top of the application, for example, in this case I will put Crunchyroll, press on the remote control the button with the three little stripes and in the drop down menu we will click where it indicates more information. Now, as you can see, in this menu I see directly here on the left open, that means that I have no pending update of this application. In case I did have an update pending, right here, where it says open, it would not say open, but it would say update. That is the big difference and the only way in which we can know if an application has some update to do or, as in my case, because it does not have it and it is already in the latest version. Before finishing, I want to clarify that this procedure only works for applications that we install natively on the Fire TV stick from the App Store, such as Crunchyroll, Netflix or Disney+. Plus. Any other application that you have installed externally and not downloaded through the App Store of the Fire TV stick, you will have to do the update process in a different way, either by re-entering the APK, reinstalling the application or re-downloading it. This procedure obviously you can try it with more applications in case you want to check, in this case, for example, as you can see, I also have Disney Plus fully updated, but maybe if there is an application that does not work well, if it crashes, it is slow or any other type of problem, it could be that it is because you are missing an update. If not, if you have it already updated, as in my case, and the application is still malfunctioning, then I recommend you to uninstall and reinstall the application. Well guys, this is the end of the video. As always, if it has been useful, do not forget to leave me a good like, which is super important, as well as subscribe to the channel and hit the little bell to not miss anything. I for my part, nothing more, as always, a pleasure and until the next video.